in health and well-being today. I couldn't tell you what we're discussing, but I'd rather just show you this. Sounds like a rooster, the last one. Now, it may be the butt of many jokes, but snoring can actually be a very serious problem. We are joined today by laser cosmetic dentist, Dr. Hisham Abdullah. Welcome to the show, Dr. Hisham. Thank you for having me, Mel. Now, snoring, obviously, it can be a very serious health issue, can't it? Absolutely. Directly to the person who snores, and there's many levels of that, and to the person obviously sleeping next to them, or not sleeping next to them very well, let's put it more specifically. Not sleeping next yes. to them at all, and I can say that from personal experience. Yes. <laughs> the broad spectrum to that, isn't there? <laughs> yes. How does it affect the, the snorer's health? Let's start with that. Well, starting with defining what snoring is, or what causes snoring, yeah. it's simply an obstruction. It is a simplification of what it is, but really what it is, it's an obstruction and your body's overcoming that obstruction to get air in and out. Right. To breathe. Which is, is what you need, because if you don't get the air in and out, that is an even worse situation, as we all know. Yes, that's sleep apnea, and that's even worse, uh, because there's nothing more important for living than breathing. Right. So if you're not breathing well, you've got a problem. Traditionally, it's always been thought that a snorer, people snore when they're on their back. Mm. But I have no, also know from personal experience that uh, people can snore on their side, and sometimes when they're even on their front as well. Absolutely. What causes this sort of thing? The obstruction is caused by many things. It's either the soft palate, the, the back part of the palate is sagging and soft mm -hmm. and, and closing down, or the tongue is too large and blocking back, or the jaw is open, as we've seen on that video, and many people, the minute you do that, right, yeah. you're suffocating yourself, or a combination of all the above. So it's so variable from person to person. Some people snore one way, not the other, sometimes, not other times, and that's why you've got to go through a diagnostic process and see what out of all these factors are causing it. What's causing the snoring? Yeah. Because the thing for about some people, like you said, just turning them on the side is enough. Not going to work enough. A bit others, of a gentle ain't. nudge in the back like that yeah. also doesn't work, I know from personal experience. Define gentle. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, as the night goes on, it probably gets less gentle. The thing also with snoring is the person who is snoring obviously isn't getting a good night's sleep. They spend the next day tired and can go on and on. The person who is sleeping with them is also not getting a good night's sleep, is they? So this can affect relationships. It can have ongoing Huge. repercussions throughout the whole relationship, can't it? Huge. And we see it all the time. It's the, it's basically, we talk about the health consequences, and there's a lot to talk about there, but the reason why people come to people like me or mm -hmm. other colleagues who, who treat these issues is not because of health, yeah. it's because of relationships. Okay. That's the driving motivation for them to come through. And then we get into, oh, it, it's a threat to my life as well? Oh, I didn't know that. Oops, but but it's the relationships out. that are already broken or breaking up. And et cetera, et cetera, so, so let's take a look at this clip, a clip of uh, Brennan who <coughs> suffered pretty badly but he came to see you and uh, let's hear about his results as well. Please. Before we started the treatment um, I had a photo taken of, of my throat and the airway and basically it was completely blocked. After my last treatment we did another photo and you can see right down my throat it's absolutely amazing. During the day I'm not so sleepy or tired, uh, I felt like I, I used to get quite lethargic by the afternoon and and uh, had to have quite a few sugar drinks or something to, to give me a lift, but um, it's definitely not having to do that anymore. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm much more oxygenated. I'm pretty much sleeping through with my partner. She's much better, much happier. I stay in the same room, so I don't have to make the spare bed anymore. So I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I bet they're all very, very much happier in that household as well. So what did you do for Brennan? What we did in Brennan's case was a sn snoring treatment called Snorlays with a laser, mm -hmm. so we tightened the back of the throat. It's not surgical, so there's no cutting, there's no surgery, no bleeding, no downtime. Right, okay. So we're basically tightening the back of the throat so that we regen it regenerates and tightens and opens up and there's more airway. However, I must say very clearly that it differs from person to person. So in some people that's enough by itself, and some other people we have to combine with other modalities as well. It sounds fascinating. Obviously so, very different treatments for di very different people. Absolutely. So, so diagnosis think, first. So I think if you want more information about Snorlays, then you can go to Dr. Hisham's website, drhisham.co.nz. Thank you for your valuable advice. Thank you.